Hello everyone, my name is B. Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, we are implementing AI. We are going to add an AI guard who patrols the zone and prevent our robot to escape. Before we start with the tutorial, let me give you an update on the progression of the game that I'm working on. Witcher Academy, live the adventure of being a wizard student. In the past few weeks, we were adding a new very fun feature for the game a spirit companion, and it's a cat. But you have to bond with it, play with it, pet him, or the cat can be a bit mischievous. If you want to know more, follow us on Twitter or come and join our Discord server. Let's start with the tutorial. At the end of the video, you will have something like this. An AI card, this is a new character, who patrols between two points. In this first video, we're going to establish the basics of the, of the AI, but in the next videos, we're going to improve the patrol and we're going to add new elements, new stealth elements for the robot. These are the steps that we're going to follow for this. First, we need to prepare the level and add a nav mesh volume. Next, we have to create the AI card C++ class. In this video, we are not going to do anything with the code, but we will use that in the next videos to add patrol points. After that, we need to add a behavior tree and a blackboard for the behavior tree so we can implement some behavior or some purpose for the AI card. And finally, we will add two patrol points where the guard can patrol to. These are the two patrol points. Nothing is gonna change on the game because at the moment the guard is only going to patrol between the two points. Let me show you. So I can escape from Yale, nothing's happened. And we have the guard there, which is waiting in one of the patrol points. So nothing is going to happen because we're going to add this. And in the next videos, we're going to add some kind of uh, detection on the, on the robot. I'm going to move to a different level, which I prepared for this, uh, this video, which is just simply it's completely empty. So I can show you the steps. So, the most important thing is to prepare this level for that. At the moment, there is no way for the AI controller to work on this, this uh, level because we need to add one of the volumes that comes with Unreal Engine comes. And this is the NavMess volume. This one. So we just need to drag this one and then we need to adjust the size of the of the nav mesh to cover everything so that's like that and as you can see everything is covered so the green thing means that the any ai controller that is placed around here will have this nav mesh and it can it prevents to walk on this elements or, or that element so this is very handy next thing we have to do is just to create the ai controller or ai character c++ class and as usual this is very straightforward you simply right click on the content browser new c++ class and we have to select character and we can set a name i set ai card which I already have one, uh, which I cleaned and I'll show you now how it looks. It doesn't have anything, it's just an empty class. But I usually like to prepare this uh, C++ class to prevent any errors. But there is no problem on not creating this class right now and creating in the future. Because we can always reparent it the, the blueprint to this class. But it's up to you, you can create it or you can't. So I'm just going to cancel and show you how the my one looks like. So the 
page file is this uh, simple AI card with extension a character and there is nothing inside and the same for the C++ there is nothing with that C++ class we can create the blueprint based on that so we just need to go to the code select the class and create blueprint based on AI card then I like to keep everything on the same place so BB AI card and here we have the basic character there is nothing different from a normal character so it's just that but now we have to sorry about that we have to select the element so first we can set the skeleton mess and we can reuse the same robot as uh, the main character so i have that prepared here you can use any other and we can use the same uh, animation blueprint which is that one yes and we can also set the rotation not the other way and make this smaller I think oh. uh, I think I said something like that or even a smaller yeah that should be okay okay so it's important to set that right there uh, let me take a look at my version because I can't remember how I set the, the size. So yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that's correct. And um, minus 80, 80. Okay. So yeah. Okay, so that should be good. And to Change the, the color, we can select another uh, material. I have this one and I have another detail. So we can differentiate from the main, main uh, character. And that's it for now. Uh, it's important that this controller has this AI controller. For now, we're not going to change this. This is the default one that comes with Unreal Engine. And we can place this new AI card right there. And if we play, nothing is gonna happen. For now, it's just a dummy character placed there. Okay, let's add some purpose of this dummy character. So for that, we need a behavior tree and a blackboard. A behavior tree is nothing more like a play in a... It's a script. So we will give simple task. That's important, it has to be simple to the guard so we will uh, let him know what to do so in this example i just have two waypoints and there is a weight in the middle of those two no sorry the guard will go to the first one will wait a few seconds and then move on to the next one and that will happen in loop that's those are the kind of tasks that you're gonna do in the behavior trees you can do a lot of things and you can complicate a lot the behavior tree but think about simple tasks and also all of these you can do totally on code but behavior trees are very like flexible and visually and they are very easy to to manipulate and change things quickly because maybe you want an ai character that does uh, things and you, you need to adjust the times and with behavior trees it's quite simple they are very powerful so let's create those two elements we have to go to AI and first behavior tree. And next, let's create the blackboard. BB AI, AI card example. The behavior tree, as I said, is the script. And the blackboard is nothing more like a, it's a table with variables that you're gonna use between the AI card and the, sorry, the behavior tree and the, the blackboard. 
So both elements are going to communicate together. And with the blackboard, we can send elements through code or we can populate elements that we might need for that script. This is how a blackboard looks like. It has absolutely nothing at the moment. And this is a, a behavior tree. And as you can see, by default, default is selecting the one that I already have on the project. So let's change that for this one. Okay. Just a quick uh, look at how a blackboard a behavior tree works. So this is the root. This is the first element on the script, let's say. And we have these arrows, which give us these elements. You're basically going to work with selector or sequences. And I have here a sequence. This will select an element and as the description says, it's going to do try to do all the nodes, child nodes. And if any of those succeed, it will stop this execution. So it will select one that uh, succeeds, one of the tiles that you're gonna do over here. You can do tasks, you have this, all of these tasks, or compos compositor, which is another selector, sequence, or this one that I never used. So I'm not sure what it does at the moment, but maybe I will figure it out. Okay, and the sequence is a sequence, so it will do nodes and the child nodes or tasks. And if any of those fails, it will stop the execution and nothing else. Okay, before we do that, we need to connect this behavior tree with the AI card. So I'm gonna go to, that's mine, I'm gonna go to the event graph of the uh, behavior, uh, blueprint AI card. First, we need to get the AI controller. Get AI controller. And okay, I usually get a reference to self. I don't think it's needed. Probably it's not needed. And from here, we can use the run behavior tree. We connect that with that and we select the behavior tree that we just created. We, if we play now, nothing is going to change because obviously we just connect things together and uh, this guy doesn't have an instruction, so it's waiting for some kind of instruction. instruction. Let's open the behavior tree and let's add some instruction. So if you open you Let's select the sequence and now we can add some tasks. So there is a bunch of tasks here. You can create your custom ones, but for this example, we don't need anything fancy. So we can go with this one. And basically we're going to work with wait. By default, it's five seconds. So let's reduce the time. And now so this is the first node that is going to be executed. It's important that it's in the left side because the behavior tree works from left to right. Now let's add another task and we are interested in move to. So this will this move to will use enough mess to move to a point that you give it. At the moment we have invalid because we don't have any points on on the th there is nothing uh, connected on the blackboard. Now is when the blackboard comes in in place. So first we're gonna add a new key and it's gonna be a vector. Let's call it tar target target point one. And that's it. If we go back here we can see that this uh, move to uh, took the target point one because it is the only key, so that's by default. Let's create another one because we want two. So target point another vector, and in this case, yes. So we have one and two, and for now there is only one. Okay, now if we play. 
still nothing happens. Why? What is happening here? Well, the answer is simple. It's because we have the target points, but there is nothing. Just uh, we haven't uh, tell the target point one or two to have a specific position on the wall. That's the next step that we're gonna do. Now is when things get interested, but because how we connect the blackboard with the external wall? Well, we have the Blueprint AI card for that. Not that one, sorry. I'm gonna close this one. This one. So, from here we can add the patrol points. So let's create variables for that. And we're gonna do uh, two target points. Of type actor. That's one. And let's set a category to find it easier on the on the blueprint outside there. And let's duplicate. We need to make it uh, public. And let's make another one. That gets point two. Let's move this to the AI category. That's a trick, by the way. Uh, you can set the category here, or you can just drag the elements to the category that you want and make it public. Okay, so in the way I usually work is with C++, and this is the quickest way to do it. But as I said, we are going to improve all of this in the next video and do it in a different way and include more elements in the behavior tree. This is just the basics. Now, we need to get the location for both target points. So let's get two of them. Get actor location. And the same for the second one. Now, this behavior tree, remember this one, is connected with the blackboard. Okay, so we need one node. I uh, was a bit confused, but okay, we need to get the blackboard. That is attached to this AI card. Because we have this run behavior tree, uh, this will give us the blackboard, which is connected to. And in this case, if you're... So this behavior tree is connected, this one is connected to this one. So when we do get the blackboard, it will give us this one. Now we can set value as vector. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. So we can send the vector value, we can connect that there, and this is important. We need to call make literal name, and very very important, we have to take the same name. So let's go to the blackboard, copy the name, and pass it there. Okay, and we have, we have to do exactly the same with the other one, so just let's copy that one. Let's connect that to that. Let's send that. We have another make little name. And finally, we need to connect to get the blackboard. With all of this, we should have these target points connected to the blackboard. And this one will receive the, the values. Okay. Last thing we have to do is to populate those variables on the map. So, okay, if we go to the category AI, you can see that we have target point one and target point two. So let's just use a normal target. One around there, for example. That's going to be the first one, and the second one right there, for example. I don't know. There and there. Let's take this guy and let's use the picker. Uh, also, we can use that and select the second one, or you prefer. Okay. We have to do one more thing and we'll be done. So, as you can see, we have the root, the sequence. A weight and then move to. So we can add another weight 
of three, that's too much, three seconds. And the other move to task, move to, <clears throat> and set the other target point. And that's it. Now, if we, we play this, the robot should go to the second, the first web point. Now it waits and go to the other one. Now it will move on to the first one. We can take a look at what's going on on the behavior tree. There. So it does the wait, then move to, then wait, move to. And it's a loop basically. There is no condition to exit this. And that's all for today's video. In the next video, we will continue with the AI. Uh, we will improve this system. We are not going to use those target points like that. And so it's going to be exciting. Remember that you can get the project files if you support me on Patreon and also it helps a lot. Subscribe to my channel, like, share and thanks to my Patreons for supporting me. See you next time on the next video. Bye!